I have a real problem today. I want to wear my skirt. So I got it out and I haven't worn it for a few years. And I found the waist, the elastic has totally stretched out. I'm a big woman, jumbo woman, but not this jumbo. Now this has two little um, casings right here that the elastic goes through. I'm going to show you how you can fix if your shorts does this and if your skirts do this. Now sometimes they have a drawstring in them and if that's the case and they're working you just tighten it up but sometimes they just put these on for looks. Have you had that? This one was on just on for looks sewed on the front and you just tie it like for a decoration. I don't need a decoration, an added fabric right there. So I don't want a drawstring that I pull tight. So what you do is you get some elastic. If you don't have elastic, you can use your drawstring that you have out of a sweatshirt or one that's just for decorative. So what you do is you open up inside, not on the pretty side, on the inside, you open up this seam right here, see? I've already cut it open. Just use some little scissors or a seam ripper, or you can even use your knife and just open that up. Dropped it. Then get your elastic, measure around your waist to get the right length, and put a safety pin on it. And what you're gonna do is put it in this hole that you opened up. Okay, and then just force it through. Now be very careful. Nowadays, they don't make safety pins nice and sturdy like they used to. So as you push it through like this, make sure the safety pin does not open up inside here because I've done that. And then you're in real problems because it gets caught on the fabric and you're like backing up and trying to, It's don't do it. Just be very careful. Now push, push and pull. I'm from, I have an accent from another country. Push and pull this through. Cause I don't wanna buy a new skirt. This, this skirt used to be pants and I made it into a skirt. They show you on YouTube how to do it. If anybody wants to learn how to do that, just comment below. There might be one person. And you know what, probably only a few people will watch this because they would just rather go by new, I know. Now, when you come to the other side seam, it might have troubles coming through. So I have opened this up too because it, they have a seam of their own. So if you have to, just cut this side open too. And I did that. And then just pop it out and then go through again. Now, as you see, it's gonna look great on this side and you're not gonna be able to tell that you only put the string or the elastic in the top little section. Some, some <coughs> shorts and skirts, they have three rows of this and sometimes it's narrower, so you need like narrower elastic. That could happen too. So just keep pushing it through, pushing it through. So, and if you have, sometimes my grandkids have been really slim. They're healthy. They just are skinny bennies. And then they buy shorts or a skirt that's cute, but it was made for a little plumper child. So you can fix the child's clothes by doing this. I also, I should have brought them. I have jeans that they, the waist is has gaposis in the back and stuff. You can do this inside your jean waistband and attach it to both sides. You don't go to the front, you just do from one lapel to the back to the other back. And I've done that to fix my jeans so the waist will fit better. And I know some women have that figure that they have a tinier waist and bigger hips, so they have to buy bigger hipped pants. And then they have that gaposis in the back. So you could put a piece of elastic inside the waistband of your jeans. You would want wider 
elastic. Just go to the fabric store and get like inch wide elastic and string it through the back of your jeans. I had to do that with my little grandkids that some, you know, the pants that you buy some of the little kids, they have like a adjustable waist like that in them. You're basically making that in an adult size, a jumbo adult, a jumbo kid size. Okay, I did it. Five minutes, right? And I'm already at the end. Okay. Stretch it out and suck this piece in. Okay, look, the waist is now. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have to, you can just tie this together, you know, like, like this, and then tie it like this together. But I'm gonna stitch it, because I'm a sewer, and my sewing machine's right here. So, here it is, perfect. Now I could wear my skirt and it won't fall down and it will hold me in. Bye.